Hi, Ellie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being willing to have a little chat with me today and tell me some things about yourself. Okay. So I'm just wondering if we could find out anything you're willing to share, such as where were you born and where did you grow up? I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, July 7th, 1991. Um, to a family, um, like my dad did drugs and my mother did drugs. I was born addicted. So like having that predisposition, like kind of, I kind of, it kind of like, I feel like it had something to do with why I'm an addict now. And yeah. How long have you been in Addict? Ten years. All right. And when did you leave Edmonton to come? Did you come to uh, right to Vancouver? Two years old. Oh, two years old. Yeah. Did your whole family come here? Uh, just me, my dad, and my sister. And you've been in the downtown east side since then? Uh, well, it was Surrey first, and then um, I moved down here when I was like about ten years ago. And I've been homeless like for ten years. So you're staying in shelters? Mm-hmm. your days doing mm -hmm. your typical day on downtown like, Eastside? Just like trying to get money to get down so I'm not sick because like I do heroin so it's like it's like a constant not sick getting sick and then getting getting money for down and not sick and then getting sick and then owing money and it's just like constant. So you're spending your days trying to get your, your substance and then uh, shelter for the night mm -hmm. and food here and there yeah yeah and do you still have a relationship with your your father and my father passed away when I was 11 and my mom when I was seven okay did you say you came down here with your sister no I came down here by myself oh I mean when you, you when you left Edmonton yeah we came to Surrey yeah to get yeah with my sister yeah she was like 10 and and did you go to high school then in Surrey yeah and what did you do after high school? Um, I uh, moved to Calgary with my boyfriend and then um, I got married when I was 20 and then had kids and then after I have two kids that are 12 and 13 and then now I have my new baby but like I, without the father clean I can't see it going forward with that a relationship. And your kids that are 12 and, did you say 12 and 13? Mm. Their they're, dad's clean, yeah. And they're in Calgary? No, they're in, um, they're, they're, they're out here. Do you see them sometimes? Uh, yeah, on FaceTime. Do you see your sister? Sometimes, yeah, but I'm not allowed to go to her house or anything like that, on drugs or anything. She now has my three-month-old baby. She's the one who has your son right now. Yeah. And she's not using or anything like that? That's no. Where does she live? Three blocks away. Oh, okay. She's in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So your plan is to get cleaned up and have your son back mm -hmm. and raise your son? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that happens for you. Are you feeling quite confident that you're going to be able to achieve this? Mm, yeah, I think so. But it's like if... Like, I have to just, get, like, stop chasing after the father of my son. This is what I tend to do, and it's, like, a just toxic relationship. Where is the father of the son? He's around, around here? somewhere, just doing dope somewhere. Oh, yeah. okay. Do you have any other hopes and dreams for the future? No, no. I truly hope that you are able to get clean and see your son, raise your son, and whatever else it is you want to do, be more in touch with your other children, yeah. and that you get to a fulfilling life, free of your addiction. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much for talking to me. Yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.